So if you use this popular application, Snapchat, you probably have noticed that it has this ability to tell how fast you're moving if you're in like a car or something. Now it says zero kilometer per hour because I'm just sitting right here. Now today I'm going to explain to you how this works and how is it able to do that and then we will do a simple little experiment to see if I was right because I will tell you how I think it works and yeah let's get on to it. Now before I start explaining this, I want you to excuse me because I just want to say something to some of my viewers. The nasa li tabgha tahab tshuf al video hada bil lugha al arabiya, abghtu ala al aykuna hada li tatla hina, hatshufu hata hat fi YouTube. Wu tala lakum al tarjuma bil lugha al arabiya idh ma tahrat. Yimkin ma yishtagla al jawalat aw al mobile, bas abghtu ala aw rahat jikum. Thank you very much. I think now we can get on with the explanation. So first of all, Snapchat does not, it does not measure your speed. It does not measure how fast you're going and that's because it doesn't have to what I'm saying is there is not really an algorithm that allows it to measure the velocity of a moving vehicle however snapchat has access to your GPS application that's already built in to your cell phones or smartphone let's go back to my old phone here and we're gonna take a look this is a list of applications that I have if I go to snapchat you can see in the settings that it has access to the location services which means the GPS it says while I'm using this app so basically it knows my location at a given moment let's say you're driving around in like a car and you're moving from point A to point B now the GPS knows the distance between point A and point B it knows that distance it also knows how long it's going to take you from point A to point B because your phone can keep track of time obviously now if you have these two variables if you have distance traveled and you have time required to travel that distance then you can easily determine the velocity because the velocity is distance over time and that is physics 101 all snapchat basically has to do is just display that speed which is based on the distance traveled over a certain time. Let's take a look at this map right here. I put together an example for you guys. Imagine that we are moving from point A to point B right here in the graph is following road. Now Snapchat, the GPS, the GPS is going to figure out the distance between the two points which is for this example let's say they are 50 meters now if you are recording a snapchat video during that time of travel I think the snapchat video allows for like 10 seconds I'm not sure about that but I think it's like 9 to 10 seconds so let's say 10 seconds for the sake of simplicity we have a distance of 50 meters in 10 seconds to figure out the speed the snapchat is going to display you just divide the two as shown and you're, you're gonna get a speed of 5 meters per second now the question is how accurate is the display of that speed I want you to look at this scenario right here on this other example I put together the distance from point A to B or the road rather is not a straight line so what do you think is going to happen do you think this is gonna be accurate you see I think I suspect what's gonna happen is that snapchat or the GPS rather is going to measure the distance between A to B as in a straight line which it does not equal to the distance actually traveled by the car so I'm thinking that it's gonna be less accurate the more curves you have in the road the less accurate the display is going to be so it works better in like if you are in a plane or in a car moving in a straight line now let's do some experiments. So here's how this experiment is going to work. I'm going to record a Snapchat video and I will spin around myself really quickly. It's gonna be embarrassing, but I'm gonna do it for you guys. Pop quiz! You always have to concentrate in my videos. Now, I have a question for you. Pause this video and comment below the answer. What do you think it's going to display? How fast was I spinning? 
just an estimate it doesn't have to be exact pause the video in the comment below and then i will answer you answer you and don't cheat because if you cheat you will never enter valhalla so basically how fast is it from here to here how fast is that going now here is the answer it gave me zero kilometers per hour and no matter how fast i was spinning it would give me the same answer basically because in this experiment point a and point b is basically the same thing for the gps from here to here if you move the phone from here to here that doesn't count you haven't really traveled that much distance so basically i'm um, the same distance so what it's doing right now to measure the velocity is it takes distance over time and if we have zero in the numerator then no matter what the speed will be zero and that's why it says zero now I'm gonna do another experiment even more embarrassing but no one's here so I'm gonna do it I'm gonna record a video and I will run as fast as I can around the house and then we will see how fast is it going to record in the speed meter and then I will display that to you Now, moment of truth to see if I was right or wrong. I'm gonna go here to the location services under the setting for Snapchat, and this time I'm gonna go never. At this point, I denied Snapchat the access to my GPS, and I went ahead and I took this ridiculous picture right here, mainly for your entertainment purpose. <laughs> but the interesting thing is when I swiped over to the speed filter it gave me this message right here and I want you to notice that it says enable location so that it figures out how much how fast I'm going which should be zero but I think that means that it does not know how fast I'm going because it doesn't even have access to the GPS. So here it is guys, I have explained how I think it works and I think I verified that with the experiments that I did and I think that means... I can't believe it! I'm right! <laughs> I mean, you have some serious family problems, but I'm right! So that's it guys, I really hope you enjoyed this and I hope you found that interesting. Share this video because I do think it's really interesting that we can understand how things work from basic physics principles and we can apply it to cell phones and things like that. You can also check out my media and check out my other stuff. I'm gonna have a lot of videos coming soon, hopefully, <laughs> if I don't get really busy. If someone knows that it works a different way, I would be curious to know if I actually got this right because like I said, I have no reference or anything, I just based that, based that of my knowledge and based on the experiment that I applied and based on what I know so if you guys know anything else please comment below I'd love to have a discussion about this and if you have any questions you can either comment here or email me or anything that's up to you now what I want you to do next time is when you see your friend trying to use this filter or snapchat I want you to go wait a minute hang on do you know actually how this works do you understand how can it measure how fast you're going because it's incredible and then just regurgitate this video to them be that guy because I have that guy don't forget may free you lay with you tonight and comfort you as much as she always does me and may Uden take you to the halls of Valhalla shut down